Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Porto taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, with the final so close, really important for both sets of players to stay in the now. Block the final out of the mind. Stay in the semi-final and do your job. Well, here's the starting 11 for Porto. Well, it's a very interesting formation, Lee, in prospect, with a couple of holding players in midfield part of the story. Yeah, it's kind of a, like a confused diamond as I see it, but that holding player just in front of the two centre-backs is key. Can he protect in that area in front of the back four? The rest of the system really is based around the two up front. They will do the work to try and get the goals, but the supply line will come from those wider two midfield players. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Thank you. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. And underway now in this Champions League semi final first leg. Sergio Oliveira might be able to produce from this position. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Kovacic lost it. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Oliveira can't miss, surely. Well, he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? He's feeling the pressure here. Jorginho. A sloppy pass. Here's Manafa. Uribe. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Marcano now. Sergio Oliveira. And clears his lines. Here's Kovacic. Mount. Mateo Kovacic. I think teams are always conscious of history and like to draw upon history. Chelsea in the semi-final under Roberto Di Matteo beat Barcelona against all the odds. Can they do it in this semi-final league? Well, you look back at the, the games you've played in as players and you remember certain bits, the bad bits, the good bits. It's how you focus all that information into going into your brain, to go into a game, to produce what you need to get the best out of yourself. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And options in the centre. Ziyech. 
crossed into the penalty area making sure nothing untoward happened Conte James looking confident with the ball at his feet it is now with Jorginho veering in field here must score pretty routine there for the goalkeeper Musa Marega has it. Corona. The ball with Ottavio. Mount. Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Jorginho. Conte now. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. And scope for the cross. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Mount. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. The ball with Ottavio. Jorginho. Mount. Jorginho, crossing possibilities, not getting anxious when they have the ball. Mateo Kovacic, over the touchline for a throw-in. Aspiliqueta, here's Kovacic, element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Musa Marega has it. Diaz Uribe Wilson Manafa that's a very impressive piece of defending James Mount ran it superbly to take back possession Marcano now. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Mateo Kovacic. James. N'Golo Conte. Advantageous situation here for Chelsea developing. Effective challenge. Ottavio now. A oh, tremendous vision. An abundance of space. Dangerous looking attack. Won it back. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Abraham. Far from a good pass. Ottavio. The ball with Jesus Corona. Sergio Oliveira. Mateo Suribe. Luis Diaz. Individual quality coming to the fore. Substitution time it is. Marcano, here's Manafa, Mateo Suribe, and space for the cross, excellent ball towards the front post, no nonsense clearance, Wilson Manafa, and played in, 
Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. So the corner played into the box. Options in the centre. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Jorginho. Conte now. It's with Hakim Ziyech. James. It's really opening up positively for Chelsea. They've regained possession. It is now with Jorginho. Making progress. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Shoya Nakajima. They could nudge in front. A goal it is. At long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? The opening goal of the game, then. Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Rudiger. Mateo Kovacic. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Ziyech. Good-looking sequence. Well, the cross played over, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Sergio Oliveira. Mateo Zuribe. The ball with Jesus Corona. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. He's found a pocket of space. Delivered into the area here. Smuggled away. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. Space and time for the cross. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Conte. Jorginho. Conte. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. No real threat, you've got to say. Full time then, and the home side will carry with them a lead going into the second leg. Yeah, still plenty of work to be done in the second leg, but I was impressed with how they approached the game today. Really high tempo, lots of aggression, and it paid dividends. Can they hold their nerve in the second leg? We'll have to wait and see. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.